Yo, yo, fight the power. Yo, yo, write the power. Hello. This is Brian D. Hill. And this, this episode or this showing of USWGO News is a self-interview and a response to the Agenda 21 video. Anyways, on the laptop, it's saying that Agenda 21, on the video, it's saying that Agenda 21 will mean that many parts of the United States will be no longer allowed to have people. Agenda 21 will also mean that many people will be forced and stacked into, into high story buildings, and that it will mean that everyone will be forced into some sort of apartment. This is bad. This will not guarantee your rights to grow a garden. This will not guarantee your rights to have a pet, which means that they could exterminate any chance of you having a cat or a dog to make your life better and a stressful life. It will also mean a threat to state sovereignty. I know a lot of environmentalists might think Agenda 21 is a great, great idea, but... What they do not realize is they're, what they're saying is you can no longer go to the Grand Canyon. You can no longer go to Zion. You can no longer go to the Redwood Forest. You can no longer go to Jennifer Springs. You can no longer go to Bitmore State. You can no longer go to any national park or nature preserve. What this will mean is you will not even be allowed to hike. And even if you, got, even if you found a way to defy the government and, and hide and sneak past the government's military and somehow got into the wild there would be no help for you he would just have to live like the olden days or die the problem with that is many people have health problems so they can't just run away from the militarized country that america is going to become agenda 21 is bad news he's saying that it will be the end of your property rights. This will be the end of privacy because then you'll be in government-controlled housing. And I believe that they're going to try to use HUD for this, the Housing Authority, which is scary. This means all people in the HUD program might one day be forced into government-controlled housing, along with people that have worked hard to have their own house. These elite people are brutal and that's why so many people want to stop them even if it means any of us could be killed because these elite people don't understand that we're doing all this work people do all this work to live the american dream and then and then the money goes to the rich and now what they're saying is you can't live the dream we live the dream but you don't you don't live the american dream it's wrong. It's selfish to use the environment so they can have everything and we have nothing. So that we can't grow gardens. So we have to accept whatever food's in the grocery store. This whole environmentalism plot is going to destroy America from the inside. Take away our rights to grow our own food, which is helping the environment. There's people that even act like growing trees does no good and that just covers up the problem. That's not true. Trees help with the carbon. Trees help with the carbon. See, see, the trees give us oxygen. If we take away all the trees and, and, and sit there and control everybody and help the environment, it's going to eventually fall back on us. Because the trees give us oxygen. It takes the carbon that we don't like, the excess. And the excess gets converted into oxygen. See what I mean? See what I'm talking about? If you don't believe me, environmentalists, go take a look at science. Go take a look at your books. Go to a, go, go to a room that has no oxygen and put a tree in it. A, a tree that's big enough to support your carbon output. And then lock yourself in there to where you could die a painful death. And then see... 
if trees can cut the carbon, then we'll know, oh good, I didn't die in that room because I had a tree in there. But there's another thing you need, it's water. You need water, not just carbon, because water helps us as well. It helps the trees grow. So for those who think we need to get rid of all the carbon dioxide, you're going to murder planet Earth and you're going to kill humanity because if we cut all the carbon on planet Earth, the Earth will no longer be in its terraformed state, which would make the Earth turn into Mars. That's right, the Earth will turn into a cold, dead planet that's nothing. Because without carbon, trees will have nothing to use. And then the trees will start withering away till it's nothing. And then humans will all die suffocating the dead. Their bodies will just shut down. Agenda 21. It is destructive. It is bad. It is unreliable. And it will not help the environment. Because Agenda 21. Agenda 21 is nothing but a fraud. If you want to help the environment, grow trees. Grow lots of trees. Fight to make more places in the state parks. But if you support Agenda 21 to help the environment, it will mean that you won't be able to enjoy state parks. National parks will be history. There will be no national parks. There will be no state parks. There will be no county parks. There will be no parks at all. Now, I am in M M Mayo Dan, which means that I support the Mayo Dan State Park or whatever park it is, because they're helping nature. They're saving it. See, that's the way we need to be doing things. I thought I thought that that was the best idea, is by building state parks, national parks, and making lots of parks, and building lots of trees. But I've been noticing some parks, one park actually took down a tree. This is not the way to do things. You don't just take down trees. You need to build trees. That's the only way our community can be helped. We need to build trees. We need to expand the amount of trees we have if we want to deal with the carbon problem. Because Agenda 21 is suicide. Suicide. Anyways, we will head for part two of this interview. And this is provo provided to you by USWGO of the Hypo Division.